Hi there, and welcome back for session three of Shaken Baby Syndrome Avoidance. Today, we're going to talk about those intense um, crying periods with a new baby when you come home from the hospital and you're just trying to get your routine down and suddenly it's as if that little baby is taking control of the household and cries sometimes even four to five hours a day. Um, I wanna to talk to you about purple crying, which is a great acronym that helps me and I'm wearing purple today to kind of emphasize that, but that's part of the plan that you will have to be in control, to breathe, to think through this, to have your plan. Post it, um, I even posted mine with um, for my grandbabies in their nursery on a purple piece of paper too to remind me that this episode of purple crying um, can be dealt with and gotten through. And um, it's really important to understand the awareness of purple crying. Um, the acronym means P-U-R-P-L-E and each letter stands for something that will help you the P um, in the beginning of the word is for peak of crying. It seems like they cry and cry and the intensity will vary a bit, but overall it's just a long lasting cry. And you're thinking, my goodness, what a set of lungs this little four week old has. And they do use their lungs screaming. It's unexpected for the letter U. It seems to come out of nowhere. Maybe baby's just um, gotten up from a nap, they're fed, they're dry, there's no pins poking them, their clothes are sufficient, and everything is fine. And you're just like, where did this come from? R, it resists soothing. You can try to comfort, use all of your comforting techniques, your positioning, your swing, your carrier, your inside, outside, in the car but it just doesn't seem to want to settle easily, or if it does, it's short-lived. <laughs> it just like goes back on again. It's like the screaming machine is turned back on when dad said. Um, they have a pain-like face for the letter P, and we've talked about that in the last couple weeks. Um, that face is like something that, where is this face coming from? Why is something really wrong? Seriously, medically wrong, because that face is so unusual and you don't see it, and which is a good thing. Um, finally, L for long lasting, it can go hours a day for a period of time. Generally, when they first um, are a couple weeks old to about three months is the peak time of that. And E in purple for evening time. Of course, it's at your busiest. You're trying to get other kids or yourself home from work and school. Uh, you're tired. Maybe you wanna listen to the news or check your phone. Um, you kind of have your routine baby doesn't um, always fit into your routine so you have to work baby into that and just say okay i'm expecting this i have my plan the five s's that we talked about last time swaddling side uh, stomach positioning how you can carry i'm a, a carrier like this and back and forth and rocking um, swinging i use the baby swing quite a bit the shushing sound which if you can make that, it has to be equal to the level of baby's crying. Um, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, like all of these. And finally, um, if you are the nursing mom, breast is best. We always say that. But if you're not, if you're a grandparent in charge for the next five hours, <laughs> um, use pacifiers. Use all your techniques on your plan and just know you're not doing anything um, out of the ordinary to care for baby that's causing this. It's just a developmental phase that they go through. Um, different ways to get through this again. Breathe your way through it. Think your way through it. You are the adult. You are in charge of your home. The baby may seem to feel like they're in charge right now, but you are. You have your plan. You will think through it. Um, massaging baby always um, is another thing that I've been doing more and more, using the little bicycle leg action to help them. Talking to your doctor, talking to your support system, talking to the other parent to see if they can help take trade off, um, walking and walking. Um, I always say I'm the babysitter, but I'm, I tend to be the baby walker and walk for hours up and down the hallway in and out of the rooms when I am uh, caretaking for um, a six week old baby right now. So it, it takes a lot of comforting. One mom said um, when I handed her a brochure on tips for calming 
a crying baby. She said, do you have any tips for calming a crying mom? <laughs> Which I thought was pretty profound. So yes, all these things, you will get through it. You are not alone. We have excellent handouts here also and can talk to you about it and do the education. Uh, Google, research, read up. We always recommend this book, The Happiest Baby on the Block, to really give you the tools that you need to get through this time period. It will end, it doesn't go on forever, um, but being aware about it, um, I always say that every parent who's been blessed with a child has a responsibility to care for that child to its absolute highest level, do no harm, and you have a responsibility to teach everyone who interacts with your baby and all children the safest, best, calming way. You have to be totally calm if possible, and you can, and just breathe, walk through it, journal through it, pray through it, breathe through it, snack through it. Um, one mom said she watches comedies when this happens, babies on their back in their sl safe sleep environment in the other room with the fan going. It's time to go downstairs and watch a comedy on TV, whatever it is. Um, you one day will laugh about this with that child when they're older. Um, I had the great idea to take a picture of sleeping baby, six week old baby, um, before and label that before. And then when that pain like face and in an intense episode of crying happens, that's during. And then when baby is settled, take a picture of after and put that in a photo album so that I remember. That is just one of the developmental stages that a baby must go through. They don't understand. You cannot get their attention per se by uh, willing them to stop. You just have to use all of your your five S's plus anything else you can come up that's safe and healthy and good for you and baby, and you will get through it. I promise you, look for our next YouTube on a really great educational topic for parenting. Um, we're in this with you. We care about you and baby, and um, call us if you have any questions. I'm Mary Ann up in the Northwest Office of Catholic Charities. Um, in the Moms Empowerment Program, and I wish you and baby lots of happy times, and this too will pass. Thank you.